Hey everyone, Hobby Farm Guy Eric here to introduce today's video. Today Brian and Steve will tackle the topic of poultry pasture and what plants do and do not belong in a pasture for chickens, ducks, turkeys, and geese. Hang tight, I'll go try to find them. Many poultry keepers allow their birds access to some sort of pasture, giving their birds an opportunity to get a little fresh air, sunshine, and some variety in their diet. Maybe it's part of a management style and marketing philosophy for free range birds. Maybe it's to try and cut down on feed costs or perhaps just to look out the window and see the chickens scratching around. Whatever the reason, it results in a healthier bird. Studies have found pastured poultry to be more nutrient dense compared to non-pastured, both their meat and eggs, specifically in terms of higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamins A and E. But often these pasture areas weren't planted with chicken foraging in mind. Well chickens and ducks and turkeys for that matter uh, will graze the grass just like cattle, sheep or goats. They have very different digestive systems and nutritional needs than cattle, sheep or goats. So while they'll still wander through the pastures and eat some of those grasses, they're not getting much nutritionally the way a cow or a goat would. The same is true of many long grasses. Well chickens will peck at and eat many of them, they're not really designed for or capable of meeting the many nutritional needs of chickens. Yeah, unlike ruminants and horses, poultry can't utilize or process large amounts of plant fiber and cellulose. So simply putting poultry into an overgrown pasture or out into a stubble field, it's not going to provide them with adequate nutrition. That's not to say chickens won't eat grass. They will eat some, particularly young plant growth, before heavy structural fibers develop. This younger plant growth is higher in protein, minerals, and vitamins than older growth. But much of a chicken's diet on pasture consists of seeds, legumes, forbs, berries, and insects that are found in the pastures. The issue becomes again if the pasture the chickens are grazing was designed for cattle or a lush neat lawn, these other items that the chickens need may not exist. So we've come up with a list of plants you may want to consider adding to your chicken pasture. The key is variety. With the exception of geese, which are grass eaters, chickens, ducks, turkeys, and most other fowl all do better with a blend of grasses, broadleaf plants, legumes, and grains. Keep in mind, variables such as your soil type, rainfall, and hardiness zone, uh, they're going to play a role in what may or may not work for you. But here are some great options in each of these categories to consider. We'll start with the grasses. While chickens don't eat a ton of grass, grass is an important part of the mixture for a couple of reasons. In addition to providing edible young shoots containing significant amounts of carotene, vitamins C, E, and K, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, and other nutrients, many grasses are resistant to the trampling, scratching, and biting that occurs in the pasture, providing some structure, and secondly, Grass provides habitat for many insects like grasshoppers that you want in your pasture. Common grasses in the chicken pasture include orchard grass, Kentucky bluegrass, uh, perennial ryegrass, endophyte free tall fescue, and annual ryegrass. Now the height of the pasture grass is really important here. Chickens forage at a different height than other livestock. They prefer foraging a pasture that's no higher than three to five inches. So when grasses and plants are taller than five inches, the carbon amounts in their leaves becomes much higher and much less digestible for chickens. In general, broadleaf plants are preferred by chickens over grasses. Many plants we consider weeds, chickens consider delicious. Dandelions, chicory, uh, lespedeza, and pigweed all make the list of weeds that gardeners cuss and chickens love. Dandelions are nutritionally similar to young alfalfa plants. They're high in protein and digestible nutrients. Pigweed, or amaranth, is one of the most nutritious and palatable plants you can find for poultry pasture. High in protein, the plant also boasts high levels of calcium, starches, carbohydrates, and dietary minerals. Chickens also devour the seeds that drop from the plant later on. Other seed producing plants like rapeseed and mustard can also be added into the mix. Now legumes form an important part of the mix and clover might be the most popular choice. High in protein, clover also boasts higher levels of calcium, phosphorus, potassium, and trace minerals than most grasses. 
Lots of varieties of clover are available, though white clover seems to be the most commonly recommended, in part due to its fibrous root system that helps it withstand grazing. Alfalfa, bird's foot trefoil, cowpeas, and sainfoin are other excellent legumes for chickens. Grains may also be incorporated into the mix. Cover crops of oats, rye, or buckwheat provide young plants and later mature seeds for foraging. Keep in mind, annuals will need to be reseeded each year. But by providing a wide variety of plants, you give your chickens the opportunity to find the, all the nutrients that they need. It's still a good practice to offer chickens a balanced feed while on pasture, as depending upon your soil and plants, there may be some nutrients that they're not able to get enough of on pasture. Pasturing chickens will generally reduce, but not completely eliminate your feed bill. This will again depend upon your particular setup. Right. What breed of chickens you keep can also make a big difference. Some breeds are known as great foragers, while others, not so much. Also, stocking density, or the number of chickens in an area, will play a role. Too many and plants will get wiped out. Too few and plants will grow too big and become less nutritious and less palatable for the birds. Often, rotating the birds between smaller pastures is an effective way to manage this. A general rule of thumb is 10 square feet of pasture per bird per week. Finally, there are some plants you'll want to avoid. Now, chickens are generally pretty good at avoiding things that aren't good for them, but they will consume them in certain circumstances. And while there are literally hundreds of plants that can harm your chickens, here are a few of the more common ones that you may have around that chickens shouldn't eat. We're talking things like azaleas, black locusts, uh, foxtails, lobelias, lily of the valley, lupines, milkweed, nightshades, periwinkle, pokeberry, rhododendron, rhubarb, right, and water hemlock, just to name a few. Yeah. So there you have it, what to plant for your chickens to keep them healthy and happy. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. And until next time, happy hobby farming. Bye everybody. Bye bye.